So the other day I brought up a subject that I felt like wasn't getting enough traction. And when I brought it up to TikTok, it actually kind of blew up. I got a lot of responses from people, some good, some bad. And of course you got some of the just get good comments. And honestly, I wasn't really expecting much different. But today guys, I, I really want to elaborate on that and show you guys that when I bring up something, when I talk about something in the 2K community, it usually has some base to it. It usually has some type of backing to it. So before I even get into furthering my point i want you guys to check out some of these clips i'm not going to say anything about them you just let me know how you feel i'm not i'm not going to put any type of opinion on it i'm not going to put any type of subconscious way of thinking on you just watch the clips and you let me know what you think I'm I'm about about that. Let you appreciate it. let's go this shit y'all should be good mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. I'm trying to stay up right now. Oh, 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 yeah. There's no way. <laughs> so. First off, before I continue with this video, let me reiterate again that I have no problem with people being able to slash. There are two types of slashers in this game. There are slashers and then there are rim runners. I'm not talking about the slashers who know how to use the dunk stick who know how to get every layup style they want, how to get the, a left-handed layup, a right-handed layup. They know how to finesse the right stick to get whatever layup they need or dunk they need for the situation at hand. That means you actually know how to play a slasher. That means you actually know what you're doing. You know how to work your man to the right so that you can get a lane to the left through the baseline. I'm not talking about you guys, okay? I'm talking about the rim runners, the people who literally don't even use the dunk stick, don't even use the layup stick. They literally just run towards the rim and they just pray that 2K blesses them with the right animation. Those are the people I'm talking about, okay? Now, in those clips I showed you earlier, I only have an 85 driving layup on my 6'9", 229 pounds, 7'3", wingspan, face up four, which is my only build. I made this build off the jump. Even with just an 85 layup, I am able to get Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame, Limitless Takeoff on Gold, I could get Masher, I could get Fearless Finisher on Silver, and my best badge, my Tier 3 badge, can only go on Silver. I can also get Pro Touch, I believe, on Hall of Fame, all right? That's only with an 85 finishing. My problem comes in on 2K where defensive badges weigh heavier than any other, other category to the point where you can have, yet again, an 82 interior defense, an 84 block and your best badge can only go on bronze on bronze chase down artist which is another badge that can prevent rim running i only get it on gold so what i was talking about in my last video is that 2k needs to buff interior defense we don't need to touch slashing. Don't touch slashing. But in those clips you saw, even when I play great defense with fairly great defensive attributes, I am still getting laid for 20 and 30 percent. My friend who is a 6'9 jumped with the max wingspan on the center and got green for a 56 percent. So at what point do we question if Slashing needs a nerf, or does interior defense need a buff? And I personally believe that interior defense just needs a slight buff. Because as I've said to you slashers, 
you deserve to dunk on somebody that has a 25 interior defense. You deserve to lay up a 6'3 guard or a 6'5 guard because they don't want to make 6'9s because for whatever reason, everybody wants to poop on 6'9 six, nine, six, nine builds as if we haven't had this type of meta before. I get it. Everybody wants to be small and everybody wants to left, right and all of that good stuff. But as I've said before, I would rather deal with people being able to get to the rim and slash at the rim with 6'9 builds than dealing with a 6'3 left rider. There's nothing wrong with dribbling this year, at least in my personal opinion. I don't think there's anything wrong with dribbling. I think if anything, dribbling just needs to be a little bit more efficient because you run out of stamina way too damn quick for, you know, this 2K in my personal opinion. But that's neither here nor there. I don't want to get sidetracked. I don't want to get away from what we're talking about here. My thing is interior defense needs to match the, the IQ and the skill of the people that are playing it. I have a great build. My build, I shouldn't need a 90 something interior defense or a 90 something block to be able to get gold interior it it, it it just doesn't make any sense to me meanwhile people i can dump those same points into slashing and get hall of fame badges hall of fame slashing badges that will make it so that even with an 85 layup i can still lay centers that are seven foot two seven foot three max wingspan and their block attempt is abysmal on me because interior defense is just that bad but you know what i don't want to get too far in this video i don't want to sound like i'm complaining i really just want to have this dialogue i really just want to have this conversation with you guys and see how you feel about nba 2k's per, uh, um interior defense i really want to see what you guys think because a lot of you guys just think people are complaining or you're just not playing great defense and i've i mean how many more clips do i have to show you that was just one gaming session that was last night for about an hour or two with my friends of playing wreck which in theory should be harder to slash because more people can clog the paint and as you can see in those clips that doesn't freaking matter so you guys let me know down below i want to know what you guys think if you're watching this on tiktok head over to my youtube and subscribe if you're on youtube and you're watching this head over to my tiktok and leave a follow man and i will see you guys in the next